Hi guys, this is Holly. Today is Friday, March 17th, 2023. And I thought I would take a couple of minutes while nobody is around at my house. I'm home alone, it's quiet. And before I was doing something else, I figured I'd sit down and I'd do a little bit of an update. You know, recently, it's been pretty bad. It's been pretty bad. Earlier in the week, I was very depressed and I hated living. I hated life. What is anything worth doing? And I was depressed. I really was. That was because I had family come into town and my nephew was performing at a concert, at a, an orchestra performance. And it was just tough. You know, I plan ahead. I make sure that I know where I'm going, what I'm doing. And I try to make it easy for everybody else. A lot of MS patients, they kind of understand that. Um, but life is just hard. I don't complain about it. I don't make a big deal about it. I try to make it as easy as possible for everybody. It just wasn't. This was a long weekend um, with people being here and having to go in and out of my house, uh, getting into a Civic Center theater with a wheelchair. Yes, I'm still using my wheelchair um, because that's the easiest, safest way to get out of my home because I still have steps and I don't do steps very well still. So with that, I needed help. I needed to ask for more help than I ever had. I have everything down pretty well and I know what to do, but my stepmom, she's great. And we went to a restaurant and we went into the bathroom. Again, try to get a motorized wheelchair into a bathroom at, you know, some restaurant. And um, it's not easy. So again, I asked for help. I said, you know, please, please help me. I, I hate to do this. And she did. Bladder is a problem. I have urgency and I have to go all the time. I had sat for hours because we made sure we had parking, easy for me to get in and out of a car. And it was just stressful. So, you know, it made me feel like, I don't want to do this. I don't want to put the effort in. But with that being said, I still do everything. I'm still an active parent. I go see my nephew perform. I see him do his sports and run track. And, you know, he goes shopping with me. We go to Costco. We go down to the beach. Um, we grab smoothies, all sorts of stuff. So, you know, MS hasn't kept me locked inside. It's made life difficult but um it's just a challenge and so on the weekends where you have people around and your routine gets a little thrown off just because you've got to bend a little bit because you've got to be able to travel and you know go places and i'm not as mobile as i was it upsets me it actually really angers me for a lot of different reasons just because life isn't how it used to be you know i've had ms for a long long time now and I don't like this way. I don't like how I am. So the performance was wonderful. It was great seeing my family. I asked for help and got through the weekend and then felt really still depressed. Didn't find the joy and shouldn't have taken away from my nephew's, you know, great weekend of performance, but I was just feeling mopey. So then I've had other people, you know, the world, and people people have this feeling that, you know what, I had quite a few people reach out to me before this. Um, somebody I'd gone to college with, a sorority sister, she reached out to just see how I was doing. Um, I had another friend who just called and he said, you know, Holly, I just feel like you're not great right now. And I hadn't talked to him. It's just these, this, you know, it, the energy that's put out there. It's great that people actually called and checked on me and said, hey, how are you doing? And so I guess that's another important reason that I figured I should do a quick update because I'm good. I'm really good. Everything, the pendulum has just gone back the other direction. And um, I had to recount a lot of things because I talk to people all the time. Recently, I was asked, oh, a, another patient who has also gone to Panama, who I maybe have talked to in the last couple of years, but don't remember. Um, and she was asking me about my experience and what do I know and 
and she's already been, she's already, she's already been a patient. So we were sharing, you know, what we're going through, uh, where we're at with her, with our ability, our disability, and um, just sharing what we're going through. I didn't expect that phone call. And then I had to talk about, you know, my last treatment. And I was sharing how I really thought when I left Panama, uh, last my last treatment, which was last summer, the summer of uh, July of 2022. I left Panama and I swore I was never going to go back. You know, stem cells saved my life. Dr. Reardon and his clinic and the stem cell treatment that he is able to give patients changes everything. It did for me. And, you know, I've had numerous treatments over the last 14 years. It's kept me off all MS medications. It's kept me healthy. It's kept me mobile until this last year. And, you know, I've had to adapt to some degree because I do have progressive MS. You know, like everybody else, I've always said, it's not a cure. It's a treatment. Let me tell you, it's worked wonders. It really has. And it's hard for me to say it's a wonderful treatment when I have to use a wheelchair. But then if you go and analyze and I go back and look at everything because I've journaled this entire time, you know, from the very beginning of me being diagnosed with MS and then taking the medications and going through my, you know, my disability and what was happening and keeping records and saying, okay, well, how do I, how do I get this medication? How do I get that treatment? How do I get this physical therapy? So I've kept a lot of notes. Well, by talking to people, it puts it out in the forefront and then you remember that, oh, connect the dots. Well, this week that did happen because even though I was really mopey and now you have to think my last treatment was nine months ago, nine months ago. And I get asked, well, when are you going back to Panama? I don't know. And then a lot of answers, I don't know when and if. But this week, even though I had a really bad weekend with family in town because I had to ask for help. But then it occurred to me, I know what happened. I really do. You know, I was disappointed because when I was there last time, last summer, um, it was the very first treatment. And now every patient isn't the same. I just share my personal experience. It's not the same for everybody. But every single treatment I've had has kind of gave me a boost. And so all of a sudden, guess what? My mobility is better. My legs bend better. I can bend over to tie my shoe better, you name it. Of course, it's kept my brain clear so I can talk. Now, I'm always fast forward, but I can talk intelligently. You know, my clarity is good. Um, doesn't mean I'm <laughs> less talk too fast and just go, go, go all the time. But at least, you know, my cognitive function is bright and clear and I can keep things together. I can still work. Um, I can still, you know, maneuver and figure things out. Book tickets, you know, budget and balance and all the things you need to do in life. And so as I'm talking to different people for different reasons and saying, I'm never going to go back. I realized that I had my last treatment. I had just come off of having a blood clot, a very serious blood clot. And it was my own fault, my own mistake. I hadn't taken a natural blood thinner that I've been taking for, oh, probably six years, six or seven years. And I got lazy. So it's my own fault. I can't blame anybody but myself. You know, I have directed my own healthcare for a long, long time because I went outside the norm. You know, I didn't follow what neurologists told me. Oh, you have to take these medications that weren't working for me anyway. And then what was left? So I leave the country and I go have stem cell treatment. So overall, I'm a bad patient. So last summer, I had this blood clot because I hadn't taken, religiously taken, this blood thinner that's natural that I have to order. And I just forgot, honestly. You know, I go, oh, you know what? If I missed a couple days, it'll be okay. Oh, you know, I haven't placed the order yet because it's expensive what I order because it's it's something that's not, it's not something that you get prescribed. It's a natural supplement, um, Baluk it's called. And darn it, guess what? I started, the claw started growing around my heart. 
It's very, very serious. Very, very serious. And, you know, the doctors at my local hospital said, oh, no, no, it's going to take you. You shouldn't get on a plane to fly for at least three months. Oh, three months. I had a trip that was planned and booked. I'm going back to Panama. Well, Holly didn't listen to my local doctors. Two weeks later, after I was hospitalized, saying, oh, gosh, you know, you could have died. What do I do? I get on a plane to go back to Panama. So I didn't talk to anybody else about it until I said I was sharing with another patient. And it occurred to me, you know, stem cells, they don't have a map in, in there, there's no map in the stem cells. They go to where there's inflammation or what needs to be worked on. Well, guess what? I just had a major clot that almost killed me. Um, if I hadn't gone back to the hospital, I couldn't breathe. And I've done videos about that, or I think I did. I talked about it. Um, that within 12 hours, I would have died. Very, very scary that a hospital overlooked a test that showed what was going on. Um, just a CT scan. I'm not a doctor. I didn't tell them what to order and what to look for. So I had to go back to the hospital and I almost died. So then... You know, they said, you have to get back on a blood thinner and not the blood thinner you're taking because you know what? It's not, even though it's Chinese medicine, no, no, no. You need to go on a, a medication that we have that you can get, you know, at your local pharmacy. So I took that for a short time, except I had major side effects. Gave me vertigo. I already had vertigo with MS. Oh, no, I'm not taking a blood thinner that makes me have vertigo. So then I get my old medication back my naturopathic medication, Baluk, and bam, I'm back to feeling really good again. My oxygen level is good. And what do I do? So two weeks after I'm out of the hospital, I get on a plane. I go to Panama. I have stem cell treatment. Now, the way stem cells work, and I'm not a doctor, I'm not a scientist, but I've learned enough about it over the years. Well, guess what? Because I just came off of major, major clot around my heart that could have killed me, <laughs> the stem cells went to inflammation. And it was another patient that said, you know, the stem cells probably went to work on that because inflammation. I don't know why. I'm not stupid, but I hadn't stepped back and looked at the bigger picture. So that kind of excites me because now the plans are, you know, back in my head that I'm going to go back to Panama. You know, when I left, I said, no, 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 it's too hard. And so I'm glad that all of a sudden this epiphany, because of another person I talked to, um, said, you know what? This is it. I can go back. I can have treatment again because, again, stem cells changed everything for me. It changed my life. You know, the other thing is, I was thinking about doing a video earlier this week, but I was pissed off. And I started to talk about how pissed off I am. And, you know... The basic of it is, it's the FDA. You know, there's no reason that I can't get adult stem cell therapy here in the United States. I have to leave the country. If I could, do you know what a game changer that would be? That when I'm, you know, once a year, I could go into my local hospital, have an IV infusion of st adult stem cells done the right way. Guess what? I could stay off medications. I could stay healthy. I could have stayed walking. But because the FDA, you know, are directed by big pharmaceutical, you know, interests, guess what? I can't. I'm really excited that it occurred to me that my last treatment wasn't a failure. It was because the stem cells were working on something else that I needed, my body needed. The stem cells don't know where to go. They just go where there's inflammation. So, you know, overall, I just needed to say, I'm really happy that I figured this all out. You know, I started this week off very, very depressed. It's a Friday afternoon. I'm feeling great. I'm feeling motivated. I've worked a lot today, just because now I've had a boost. I've had a boost in positivity, that, you know, even though it's a struggle and, you know, booking a ticket and figuring out the next time to travel, uh, I'm still needing assistance, taking a wheelchair and things like that. But I'm excited because now the thought process is, you know what, this isn't a failure. This is worth every 
ounce of effort that I give it. So I just wanted to share that with the world. I wanted to tell everybody that I'm still alive. Um, I'm as positive as ever, but I wasn't earlier. Um, I was very depressed, you know. I, I was overwhelmed, and I didn't want to share that with anybody. Um, sounds very selfish, but I feel like if we as patients and other people and people ask questions, I feel like it puts us all in this journey together. And I love sharing with people. I love talking to people. Um, I've talked to numerous people this week. And, you know, that's just the universe and God and saying, you know what, Holly, don't stop what you're doing. Don't stop what you're doing because you're supposed to be, you know, sharing the message. And um, I love you all. And thank you for checking back. Take care of you. Have a good weekend. Bye, guys.